Long, long ago, first man and first woman were created, and old man spent time with them at their new place he made for them, because he loved them. He was filled with joy as he welcomed them with open arms. He was so excited to show them and give them everything needed to survive and thrive. He gave them love, deep, deep love to overcome any obstacle that came their way. He gave them laughter to chase away grief, sorrow, and negativity. He gave them prayer, ceremony, and song to help cleanse, heal, and renew. And he gave them connections with everything in the universe so they'd never be alone. For thousands of years, they thrived and became a strong nation. So strong that when Abraham Maslow studied them, he said 85% were as secure as the top 5% of people in his culture. He saw no violence and such love and respect for the children that he wanted to model his own parenting after it. In his hierarchy of needs, our people were at the top, having all of their basic needs met, including safety. They were welcoming babies into the world with no apprehension or anxiety. Soon after that, our people went through a horrific period of Holocaust on our very existence as Pikani. Oki Nistu Nataniko Akaya Koinimaki. My name is Wendy Lynn Bremner. I am a victim specialist for the Bureau of Indian Affairs. One of only nine Native Americans in the country hired as such under the BIA OJS Hope, Healing and Justice Project. I am blessed to work in the place where I was born and raised. But every day I see the ramifications of that horrific period that nearly destroyed our beautiful culture. Violence perpetrated on our people now passing from generation to generation. Safety, love, and beauty replaced with trauma, fear, and shame. We are now at the bottom. We struggle to provide basic needs. Do our people feel safe? Only four out of 100 people here on the Blackfeet Reservation said they feel safe here. At Browning Middle School, our own children scored off the charts for the number of adverse childhood experiences that they've had. The national average is around four. Our children had an average of 14. 75% are now suffering extremely high levels of unresolved trauma. I see the devastation every day. Women and children abused, men addicted, young pregnant mothers carrying our future, delivering addicted and traumatized babies. Is abuse, turmoil, and confusion the new norm for a people who once lived in such beauty? I was told to do whatever needs to be done to help the victims in my community survive violent crime. I feel the Creator gave me this role of doing what is natural to all Pikani people, to love and support our brothers and sisters. It is truly a blessing. I see in the faces of the relatives I work with that they struggle to survive. But they will survive because they are Pikani and we are survivors. In the next thousand years, our people will thrive as we reconnect to who we really are because we know our ancestors and the tools of survival we were given can be called upon any time. We will defeat the monster of violence through remembering the deep, deep love, the laughter, the prayer, ceremony, song, and connections we were given. And we will once again welcome our babies to this place with arms wide open.